That accurately described his lack of performance last year. So he came and sat right there, and we went toe to toe. That doesn't wait, 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 accurately hold on, describe. Hold on, hold what on does, just a second. What does Mosh Spice mean? He completely what, underachieved. What, he was soft. Oh. He played soft all year. And what did I tell him to his face, sitting right here in November? I said. If this season you play up to your potential, I'll never use that nickname. Have I used it one time this year? Not. not one time. All right, that's just a small snippet of yesterday's program, which went in a lot of directions, but a big part of it was the media versus today's pro athlete. And you watched, I know from home, you said you were yes. engaged as ever. Glued to it. Of all the things, this was the one thing that you most wanted to respond to. Tell Skip and our audience at home, your problem with using nicknames for pro athletes. Yeah, I mean, if I had a DeLorean, I would use it to go back to the future just one day to be here with you and Jalen. Um, just to really talk about, when you talk about athletes outside their names, I think that's out of bounds when you think about it in the sense of you're not talking about the act, the X's and O's of that guy's production. You're talking about the actor. And that's a problem, I think, because in sports, to play sports, I played 10 years in the NFL, you have to have a discipline to even make it to that level or to excel within the NFL. And now I've made the transition. I've been with ESPN going on five years. And I've been desensitized a little to it in a sense of all the color analysts and all the things we say about athletes in a sense of, okay, to make a story that much more believable or to make a story that much more exciting I have to take another step. But I think we're out of bounds to the point now that I'm looking at it and realizing, where's the discipline in journalism? Um, the, the same discipline as we make a translation of the game that we're all covering, I think we should use some of those elements in how we actually cover that same game. Um, what is out of bounds to someone? Um, we were talking about it off air, and I think right now, the best analogy for me is there's a speed limit. And we're one mile per hour over the speed limit, and sometimes even further. And maybe when you're one mile over the speed limit, no one can notice it. But you're still breaking the rules. And right now, I think when you guys up here, because I never do it. I, I don't try and get into the name calling. I know it's fun. I know it's easy. I know it's a slippery slope. But at the same time, when it gets to the point where now the X's and O's turns into the I's and U's, that's the one I have a problem with. Okay, well, I, wait. There's a big difference between using nicknames and name calling. Absolutely. I mm -hmm. never name call. I've never insulted anyone personally about their appearance or their background or taken some personal cheap shot at people. The nicknames are scathingly accurate depictions of their performance. They say a million words with one word. That's what's happening. It, and according get, to who, okay, though, Skip? Well, I'm just telling Who's I'm, the regulator of that? It's a subjective well, experience. It's, it's a subjective yeah, I mean, experience. And okay, that's, that's okay, the difference but, but between a being a translator of the game, which I thought we were supposed to be, okay, well, well, versus on. being one who portrays the game, who adds drama to it, and then all of a sudden the depiction gets exaggerated. Okay, wait a second. Bosch Spice is an accurate portrayal of how he played or didn't play last year. He played small. He shrank under the new glare of the spotlight in Miami. Team obliterated, Terrell Owens, was an accurate depiction of how he wrecked not one or two, but three teams. He was team obliterator. Me, myself, and Iverson. That's how he played. It was all about Allen, wherever he was. Kyle, I should have been a bowler. Now, that's a tough one. That's a tough shot. But, but it's the truth because he was way overrated as a top pick in the NFL draft. But isn't that name okay. calling? Yeah. No. I mean, no, you're, you're, no. it's, it's a justification of it, but this. it is it, it, name it's calling. It's not name calling. It, it's a creative license that we get as journalists and as sports writers. It's a part of what we do. It is. Skip is, is, is right. You try to grab or take hold. I'm, I'm guilty of it. Jerry Walker, the former... Tiger general manager. His nickname was Dr. Doolittle. That's what I because wrote. He did because little, he did yeah. little, yeah. he did a little, right. he right. didn't make the trades that the okay, Tigers well, so, needed. So you're not guilty of it. You, you should be proud of it. Right. And, and, and that was a name that stuck. And, and I didn't look at it, I didn't attack him for being overweight or, or bald or whatever. You no, know, other and, and, and Skip and never does about, that either. You're talking about name calling. That's not name but, calling. But let me, me ask you this, Rob. License. Let me ask you this, though, because we are in a sense, we're, we're in a time now where one of our big problems with young kids is bullying and, and the use of a name. Name calling 
if you don't like that nickname and you tell me you don't like it and I continue to use it, am I crossing a line? It de- see, to me, the only way I would look at that is if, if it's something, and, and we talked about it before, if you're calling somebody a name, like a, a, a female or, or even Bill Parcells. Rob, if you find it offensive. If you find it offensive. When we're the receiver. Yeah. To, uh, you call Terry Glenn. Terry Glenn. That's what yeah. that, okay, so, so yes, you could be offended in, in, in that sense. Because now, now you're you're going somewhere else. Well, but, now but, you're but, but, Rob, women. You're, exactly. you're, you're, Rob, you're falling right. into the okay. trap. Two traps I saw right now. One is you're moving the line because what you find offensive, someone else may not, or vice versa. And the second thing you said, which reminds me of all the times throughout history when people were stuck and not evolving mentally and with their psychology is that's the way we do it. In media, you can never have an explanation that is not looking towards the positive or to the next level of saying, oh, well, that's just the way it's done. We no. heard, have you not heard that? And you know yeah, it, I, what I, connotations I, I, that can I, mean. I, I agree. So for you to sit here and say the, the justification of doing something is because that's the way we do no, it no, and no, that, point that, to that, references, that, that's, that's, well, I'm that's you, not right. That's the creative license that we have when you're a columnist. When they hire you as a columnist, and that's what Skip and I, mm-hmm. our, our, our uh, commentators. built on commentators. Yes. That's what they Conjecture. hire. That's what they hire you for. Can't I understand you do that. that. Okay. Yeah, Skip, Skip, you know what Skip said in the sound, which was interesting. He said, "Yeah, Jalen says, what does Boss Spice mean? You said he played soft. How come that can't be the column instead of Boss Spice?" And is it that offensive to women? Why don't we do you, that? You're calling women soft. Aren't you? No. Yeah. On the flip side, you actually I mean, are. It's just, it's a male, Playoff female. Playoff his name. And there's, yeah. some, and there's some women who would take offense to that because there are some women who are not uh, soft, I've obviously. not heard from one. And you know what? This boils down to athletes defending athletes. Not at all. In yes. The, yes, not not at all. All. yes. Oh, I'm yes. ready now. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yes. Let me make this case. Okay, I'm listening. down to. I have gone outside this studio and had several athletes in and out of ESPN tell me how much they love Bosch Spice, that it's a very clever and effective nickname. But they would never come in here and say it because they would break the brotherhood, the, the, the bond of athlete defending athlete. So in, in the end, it, it boils down to the old cliche about, I can criticize my wife, but you better not. And, and the that's, same that's thing. That's what you're saying. And the same thing. They say, yeah. you can't say that so-and-so's a scrub. And if you talk to a player off the record, he'll yeah. say, Come on, that dude over there, he's no, terrible. No, 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 but those are two he's different a, things right there. Well, let, let, me stick to, let me stick to what Skip said. First of all, of all the athletes that I know that work up here, at least at ESPN, I was the closest one to being an actual outsider. You guys know I went to Columbia. That's true. Going, I, I give you that. Going to Columbia means, and mentally, I mean, between my ears for four years of college, I am not thinking I'm a superstar, I'm NFL bound, anything. I actually felt like for 10 years, I was an outsider that won the lotto and got an in-depth look at the NFL. It's not just about the game. It's the sociology of the game, those patterns, those behaviors, those guys. That's what I'm up here to talk about and translate. When you say it's about us defending other athletes, that's not the case for me, and that's not the case for a lot of guys. You can talk about someone's performance all day and night. When I played, I really didn't pay too much attention to what was going on in the outside media because you're so engulfed and engaged with your sport. With that said, these are different times. Guys are tweeting on the way to the locker room, tweeting out of the locker room. But still, if we can't show that discipline and respect to keep it X's and O's. That's what I understand. To get but your next... Skip, but Skip's wait, wait, nicknames are X and, X and O related. And yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but at the same time, why add the extra word or verbiage or connotation that takes because it from, you, you know from being well, wait, something wait, wait, that is in critical the end, of his game we, to we, critical of the person? Hey, we are in the entertainment business. I understand Did you agree? That. Yeah. Because yeah? I, I, I don't make any bones about that. I'm, I'm the first to say. That's entertaining commentary. Not not dry. That's yeah. what I'm talking about. The color when you add color to the mix. Okay, but all right. And the other thing is, those same sports writers are the same guys who gave uh, Magic his nickname or or Reggie Jackson, Mr. Uh, Mr. October. I it's the same guys. But what prim- so, are they so, the same so premise not, though? No, are but, they the but same my, premise? My point is, it's not just negative. We're also the ones who give guys and they get a name. Oh my God, they they name me Mr. October. You tell me Reggie Jackson. No. Said, how well, can you call me now, Mr. Rob, October? I'm great all the time. Yeah. Are they the so same Jay, my distinction? Point, Jay, is the color adding color to the to the right. Uh, 
but, to but the platform. It, Skip's point on this, and I'd like to get Marcellus to respond directly to this. When you are a professional athlete and you take that paycheck, you wear the target, and that's just part of the deal. Is it? Do nope. you lose some inalienable rights No, there? no, no. I think we've all been desensitized because we see that paycheck, and we think within that paycheck, all of a sudden becomes the ability for everyone else to take shots almost in an enviable position because they're saying you're making so much so now let me balance the playing field by saying let me take shots at you i, I said, mean I I said it's exact opposite i said players want the perfect world which is pay me millions of dollars mm -hmm. don't criticize yeah, me no, no 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 they say alone. kill don't, my no, game no, no, but don't, don't kill my no, name don't criticize don't kill me. me but how it's not it's not all Killing somebody's name by your by game them a, is you. You are your, 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 your game. game. That's why I don't yeah, understand. But your name is you too. Chris said yeah. he had more of a problem with yeah. the name because his relatives were offended. I think at one point he said, "You better not run into my aunt." Yeah. Because I think people that share that name that hear it used in that way are also a And Skip, when someone calls you out, as I watched it, how did you feel? I mean, your reaction to being called uh, Water Pistol Pete was not something that I seen you in your highest moment, in the highest emotions. You, you were actually taken off, uh, taken yeah, back from that. not true. What if you're Chris Bosch? As Paul Gasol has been called soft so many times, and then he goes to Spain and wins world titles and international yeah. ball, and he's one of the toughest guys out there, he may sit back and say, Ah, it's not true that you call me soft, but you see, you know what? You he, see he, it he, as it is true because in your one lens and your one uh -huh. scope, you have found enough evidence to support your narrative. Okay, That's not I, fair. I only to that react man. to what I saw last night, though, and what I continue to see. If Gasol plays soft, which he is not at this moment, right? I'm not going to call Let me him ask soft. You this, Skip, you said that it's not true, so you tell Jalen, don't use respectfully. Don't don't use that again. You expect him to not use it again. Right. No, I don't care. He can use it again when when he heard all the backstory of it. If he but wants you to read care. what, but th does it matter that if you you're offended, care, he shouldn't use it again? I'm not offended. If as long as, if he wants to use it, knowing the truth of what happened, reading what's in today's Oklahoma and about right. what really happened, right. then I'm good to go. If but, you want to do it, I'm fine. I don't okay. care. Skip. Hey, do you All know right. how many shots I take? Right. No, that doesn't mean you like getting shot. That doesn't mean you like getting shot. You know, like getting shot. You know what? That I got does the not mean you like getting shot. In the world. I don't. I he don't does. care. I understand. Take it. your shot. I take mine. But that thick skin is built over time. I don't fire back at all. If I ever come on here and said, "Born with that thick skin," so and so blogger, quit doing that. That's a thought. Hold that thought because I wanted. I want to oh, dive more please. into that because yeah. I see it first I want to dive more into athletes defending athletes because that's the bottom we're line of this. It. You're saying we can't because we didn't do it. We didn't wow. play. We're going we're gonna to dive into that of this family. when wow. ESPN First Take <laughs> continues. Which family am I you're part an athlete. of? Whatever. You're, you're no, always been you're, an athlete. You're qualified now from both ends. You're, you're in the media. You've Don't been an athlete. Right. You're an athlete. <laughs> you will be. We'll find out. Even though you did go to Columbia. See? <laughs>